Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in another day of me playing in a altered book, which is really just a children's book that I'm gluing stuff in, um, from a tiny stack of paper that I pulled aside from a large stack of paper. <laughs> this is the stack I have to work through. Um, maybe in a day or two when I get tired of this or when I fill the book up, I will throw what's left away. I know. I know. I gotta get this paper out of here. This is a fire hazard. Don't tell my husband how much paper's in here. Okay? Okay. Between you and me. Anyhow, um, there's nothing earth shattering here. Uh, a few things are just mementos and I want to remove them from an, a random paper tray to a home and always have them. Now, a lot of times lately, I've been doing some of that kind of stuff into my Hobonichi. Um, just because I know it's safe there, I know it won't get lost. Um, if I do get caught in a fire, the first thing that goes is the Hobonichi, then the sewing machine, then my Stabilos, then the dog, then the husband. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. The husband will be before the dog. <laughs> no. Anyhow, um, like this Japan Post, I, I got it from something I ordered several years ago. Um, when postage wasn't astronomical, and um, I just saved the, <coughs> excuse me, I saved the, um, that little bit of wrapper, the rest of the wrapper went somewhere, um, and I'm like, okay, it's going in here, it's, that's done, over with, it's done. Um, so anyhow, um, just kind of going through here now and looking for empty spots, um, at least in the, I think I have about more than half of it covered. This is from something I did for something. That narrows it down. It's something I did for something. Uh, it's about trees. Um, it may have been something to do with John Muir. I don't remember. It's two-sided. I'm taping it in here. And that one is done. I don't know what it is, but it was apparently important enough for me to save. Um, it's not uncommon for me to save something that has my handwriting on it. I'm not a fan of my handwriting. It doesn't frighten me like a picture of myself does, but um, it is, it, 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 it's something about trees. So I'm sticking it in here. Uh, this was a printable that I did of my own journal. And I think this was like the bugs at the Met one. Um, and it's just going in here. Uh, it, it reminds me of that project I did. I think these little tiny pieces of paper here that are stapled together were something for a quilt, um, a paper piecing quilt. I don't know, but you know what? They're going in the corner of this book. Are they thick? Yes. Um, but it, 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 it's a momentum. It's part of my life. Uh, when I'm 82 in the nursing home in a couple years, um, we can all look at it and laugh and like, why did she put this stapled piece of bunch of papers in here? Anyhow, these are some robots or something like robots I made out of scraps years ago. I think I have two of them left. Um, he doesn't fit, but if you chop off his legs and put them on the previous page, he fits. So he's going in there. Just to remind me that I had a robot phase. Um, really, that's a lot what a lot of this is. Um, in saying all this, my sisters are going through my mom and dad's stuff and um, coming across things. And it's like, oh, God. They had, because they traveled um, for a period of five years when my dad retired. And they were in a travel trailer, um, and they went all over the United States, everywhere but Alaska. Uh, they did Hawaii by plane. They didn't take their trailer across the ocean. Anyhow, um, they collected, like, little enamel pins and put them over, like, a, a header on the top of a curtain rod. Um, anyhow, we have those. <sighs> I just kept out ones from places that I went to. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, I don't know. This is why I didn't want my sister to show me anything. Because like, no, I don't have room for this stuff. No, I don't have room for this stuff. What I didn't know won't hurt me um, as far as things that were there. Um, I did inherit another set of silver. I didn't. Well, it's actually a bunch of serving pieces that my mom bought since she gave me her silver that she got when she got married. Um, which is only fitting because it's called Tara. And it came from someplace in San Francisco. I'm not sure where it came from. But anyhow, 
it's called Terra. So she says, since I was the first one to go to the South, I get it. And I'm the oldest. Um, and my sister, at that time, I was entertaining quite a bit. And so I have my mom's silver. And now I have another ivory silver chest full of serving pieces. Didn't even know that existed, to tell you the truth. Um, and, oh, that was a ship thing from, um, what is that, shipping, um, Viking cruises? And I'm going to put a little thing on there about the Titanic submarine that's out there possibly coming to a demise. Um, I didn't know about any of that till my hu till husband told me last night. Um, anyhow, so I did inherit some beautiful silver serving pieces um, and another beautiful silver chest, um, it's, which is all ivory. Um, anyhow, so I have that. Um, and a hiking stick that was my dad's that has all kinds of silver um places things that you can buy for your hiking sticks that he had uh, glued to that hiking stick lots of places that my husband and i have been to or that i remember going to as kids i have that do i need it no <sighs> so anyhow i think this is the last page i did and i just kind of meditated here with stabilos with um moving paint around with a little bit of black stabilo Oh, and some yellow because everything looks better with yellow. Um, I just kind of meditated on this one page and focused um, quite a bit of time, more time on this one. And um, just kind of, you know, sometimes I need to slow down. I go so fast sometimes through life, through everything that sometimes I just need to slow down. Um, I would have been great in the 50s for efficiency experts. But anyhow, maybe not with getting rid of paper pieces, but whatever. <laughs> I don't think that was a requirement. So anyhow, this is the last bit of it. And I got a good chunk of this book done. I'm, I'm thrilled. And I got a little bit of paper taken care of. So uh, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate you here every day uh, with your great comments. That was a sticker of Machu Picchu, Carti. Um, going in the Hobonichi. Just because I found it and I was like, oh, today I thought of Carti. Anyhow, yeah, I still got some. That's just that one piece. I Several pieces that I pulled out. For this particular book that is not the whole collection by any means all right thanks for watching and i will see you all tomorrow bye